Oh, he's got cords. Mm -hmm. So we remove this, all this stuff. This is what we do. You just lift it up. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Open it up. So remove all this. That is all our fun, good stuff. We want to take it off. Okay. So next up, we have a pair of scissors. And we're going to snip these. You don't, want to take, you, know, you don't want to take that off yet. Yeah. Um, so next, we take this off. Do this here. And we're going to need to go into, where's the goodie box? Right here. They have provided the necessary Allen keys for opening or kind of unlocking it because uh, the build plate is actually screwed down initially. Oh yeah, get those really nice ASMR cuts. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our complimentary spool of Bamboo's basic PLA. We've got an extra Bowden tube. The spool holder. Oh wow, this is different from how they uh, gave me all my stuff. The Allen key, various other things. The spare hot end. Several uh, little packets of extra lubricant for the rails. This is what feeds the actual filament. We've got this screen right here, which attaches to the front. We have got extra rollers for where it deposits uh, waste filament right here. So we're going to take that out. Whole lot of stuff. And you can see they label everything, which is really nice. This is for the scraper, mm -hmm. another uh, replacement extra part. <clears throat> and here, they have provided us a blade, a scraper blade. <laughs> I don't think we'll need that, but. Uh, some more thermal grease. Just a bunch of stuff needed for maintenance. Uh, for DIY shell, so if we ever want to like put a new shell or something on there for the spool holder, we'll need those. For the hot end, we won't need those right now. For the extruder. And then here is our disclaimer and safety guidelines. Power cable, quite necessary. Here we have Bamboo's own brand of fill plate adhesive. It's the same as the Magigoo. However, apparently this stuff is way better. Only thing is, it doesn't matter because this is the textured pie plate which I found grips 3D models incredibly well. So let me take the tape off of here. <clears throat> and you can see it's magnetic, so you just pop it back on. Take the tape off of here. Okay, now we have to take <clears throat> the tape off of here as well going to swing it around and take the PTFE2 banker and screw it in, drag this in right here. And so we're going to do this one. Pretty tight. Yeah. And then we're okay, going to put okay. this one in here. Mm -hmm. 
if I have done this right, it's going to have give. Let me loosen it up a bit. So, there we go. Then we have to take the spool holder. So there is one screw we have to undo here. Two more screws. We're going to use the long Allen key and put it on like this. So, pop in there like this. Go in through here and screw in our spool holder. <clears throat> that are keeping the fill plates from moving. Fortunately, they give you these nice red arrows to explicitly tell you to do this. Just to confirm that we've done a couple things, that you've read the user manual carefully, which we have done, that you have removed the screw fixed to the hotbed, which we have done, select our region, North America, and then this is what we have to do to configure Wi-Fi and user account on Bamboo Handy app. I think we'll just set that up later. Bamboo. Printing. We're going to skip that for now. Let's run the self test routine to check the status of your printer. Okay. This should lift up to where we can now remove the styrofoam. It is going to go through some crazy testing. I think this takes several minutes. I'm going to do the ever satisfying uh, task of popping open the 
school. As always, they give you a desiccant to keep the filament dry. Moisture is the enemy of 3D printing, 3D printing filament in general. <coughs> chill and wait for the self-testing to finish. It's complete. Your printer is ready. Enjoy printing. Okay, now we have to actually load the filament. So, you're going to go, if you want to set that to about 210. All right, where this filament starts. And feed it through the tube here. It's a Bowden tube. So it's basically just traveling through this clear plastic tube into the hot end. So you kind of just go and push until you get resistance. Heats up insanely fast. And then I'm going to go and see if I can go and have it extrude. We want to load. So it's going to do some wacky stuff. I think you can already see how fast it's going. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep going until it's actually extruding. Okay, I'm finally starting to see it come out. Load. Ah, yes, finally. You can see it extruding. So you can see there's tons of stuff, 3D Dino Puzzle, Bamboo Lab Badge, Bamboo Lab Spool, Burr Puzzle, Fan Support, Ooh. Film Sticking, Mini Tray. We're doing 3D Benchy. 3D Benchy. Here we go. Print. And so it has a bit of a startup process where it does the auto leveling. 